Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a Datsenko Wanner, which is essentially an electroporation with a few fancy steps beforehand. The Datsenko Wanner is used to integrate some sort of linear piece of DNA into the genome. So in order to do that, we would be starting today with a little bit of culture. This culture has the cells that I want to go into, and it has a helper plasmid called PKD46 in it. But I didn't start with this culture. Yesterday, or actually I guess the day before what I did was uh, I took some chemically competent cells and I transformed some of my PKD46 into them and I plated it at 30 degrees. PKD46 is a, um, it has to be plated at 30 degrees because it has an origin of replication that's, that's pretty sensitive to temperature. Temperature is sensitive to origin of replication. So I pulled it out of here, picked a colony, let that shake at 30 degrees overnight. And that's how we ended up with this little test tube of overnight culture right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to reseed that culture into a larger volume, let it grow a little bit longer so our, our cells have time to divide, get into mid-log state. Once they've gone for a little while, we're going to induce with the rabinose, and that's going to essentially turn on our PKD46. Our PKD46, our helper plasmid, encodes a bunch of genes that allow us to integrate our linear DNA into the genome, and those are all under the control of the PVAC promoter. By adding a row of Arabinos, we're going to be able to turn on all those helper genes and get our linear piece of DNA into the genome. So I'm going to really quickly show you just the very beginning step. It's very easy. Just turn on our flame. We have some 2IT with the appropriate antibiotics. So the cell strain that I'm going into already has chloramphenicol, and the PKD46 is uh, ampicillin resistant, so this is 2IT with chloramphenicol and ampicillin. So I'm just going to flame everything off, and I'm going to add about 50 mils to my little um, flask right here. There's a little 50 mil line, so I'm going to be extraordinarily accurate here. Pour it up. That's about 50 mils. If you want to get more accurate, you can just grab a uh, falcon tube. And those are 50 mils, and you can just add your media to your falcon tube. We're going to do a 1 to 25 dilution, so 50 uh, mils is going to get us 2 mils for a 1 to 25 dilution. And uh, the last my pet right there. That might be 1,000 to 1,000. So one now, and just pull up one. And two. Easy to tip. Got this. We're done with that for now. Put everything off. Cap it. I'm going to take my autoclave tape, just kind of hold everything down, and give it a quick label so that nobody steals it from the minus 30 room. I'm going to call this PKD46 um, and 9116 is my cell screen. So we're going to really quickly just go throw this in the negative 30 to show you that that is. Whenever we go outside of the lab, take off the gloves. People don't like to see other people with gloves touching door handles because they're afraid you might have some sort of toxic chemical on there. So I'm just going to grab my timer, set it to zero. I'm just going to hit start slash stop, clear it with the C and then we're ready to hit that again. So I'm going to turn off my flame since we don't want to cause a fire. And I'm going to really quickly run on over to the minus 30 room. So here's the minus 30, or not the minus 30 room, the 30 degree room. And we're just going to quickly come in here, turn on the light, stop our shaker right here, and we're simply just going to turn ourselves down. Start again, you never want to leave one of these things off if you want culture in there. And we're going to set our timer for 2.75 hours. So let's do that right out here. So you can hear. So we're going to go hour, hour. Hold down the minute until it gets to 45. Three. And when that rings, we're going to come back and induce ourselves for the rest of the electroporation. 